In this uh, example problem, we have a ramp, an inclined plane. We have a box of 5 kilograms. The angle of the ramp compared to the horizontal is 36 degrees. And we have a massless rope on the upward side of the box, angled 12 degrees above the uh, slope of the plane. We have no friction in this problem. And our task is to find a value for the tension in the rope that causes the box to stay put, to have equilibrium, have a balance of forces. So you should make a sketch of the uh, situation. 36 degree angle, 5 kilogram box. Mg, the weight of the box, comes straight down. We have components of Mg that will be useful in the problem, especially this component that's parallel to the, uh, to the ramp. Um, a rope here, dotted line in the direction of the plane, 12 degrees above that, we have the uh, force of the rope. So what is the weight of the box? It's 5 times 9.8, that's 49 newtons. Do we need 49 newtons for the tension in the rope? No. We cannot use 49 newtons in analyzing this. We have uh, a direction, our primary movement direction is along the plane of the ramp. We need a force that's parallel to that. This 49 newtons is not in the proper direction to be useful in the problem. So let's find that component right down here, this uh, component of the weight that's parallel to the plane. I might even put W and then the little parallel symbol. But that's the uh, side of this triangle that's going to be useful for us. Notice that the angle is 36 degrees in this small triangle. If you draw the triangle in this manner on a ramp, this top angle will always be the same as the ramp angle. Um, so I take MG straight down, I take a line perpendicular to the ramp, and then I complete the right triangle. The right angle is always across from MG, from the weight. The weight is always the hypotenuse. So, ready to go. We want this side, this W parallel. We're opposite the 36 degree angle, so we use the sine function. 49 newtons is the hypotenuse. Multiply by the sine of 36, we get 88, or sorry, 28.8 newtons. Now, the weight component perpendicular can also be calculated here. 49 and cosine 36 degrees. I'll put that up here. That's just kind of for information. It's not needed in this problem because there's no friction. We don't have to do a calculation for the normal force. So let's go a little further here. Our equilibrium, we need net force of zero along the plane. Well, how many forces do we have acting here? We have the weight that's parallel, and then we have a component of the force. I'll call it F parallel, perhaps. So those are the only two forces that act in the direction of the plane, the direction of motion. Those are the two that we need to use. Well, the F parallel, we have 12 degrees as our angle. We're adjacent to that angle for the side that we're trying to calculate. F is the hypotenuse of that small triangle. So F cosine 12 gives us the force parallel to the plane upward due to the rope. We have 28.8 newtons down the plane acting force from the component of the, the weight of our object. So we can obviously calculate that, and the force is 29.4 newtons. That's the tension that we need in the rope. Well, we might check. Is that uh, reasonable? One thing that we might want to check, is this rope pulling the box away from the ramp? Let's calculate the um, small side of this triangle. I'll just draw it at the end of the arrow could call it F perpendicular. That F perpendicular is calculated with F sine of 12 degrees. Is that less than 39.6 newtons? That's the component of the weight that's going into the plane. Um, if this was bigger than 39.6 newtons, that would say this rope is lifting the box off the plane. That's not going to be an equilibrium situation. Well. 29.4 inside of 12 degrees, that component of the tension of the rope perpendicular to the ramp is 6.1 newtons. That's okay. Um, 39.6 newtons is the uh, component of gravity pulling the box into the ramp. So we're not trying to lift the box off of the ramp. It's a reasonable number for the tension in the rope. So working this problem, um, 
read through it, make a reasonably good diagram of the situation, label that diagram, decide what we need, what physics principle we need to use. Our equilibrium principle here is that the forces balance each other. They add to zero. We have one positive force. I chose up the plane to be the positive direction. We have one negative force, the component of gravity, weight due to gravity going down the plane. But we add those two and they uh, allow us to calculate the force for the uh, tension in the rope. If you want to look at other uh, of my physics example problems and short lectures, physics.gpclements.com, astronomy.gpclements.com for astronomy lectures and problems. These are uh, websites that are not fancy. They just list what vi videos are available on YouTube. There's uh, nothing to buy here. It's totally free. You do not put in your email address. Uh, I don't want that. And uh, hopefully you'll find a video that's useful for you. Please watch one of my videos and subscribe to my channel, my, web, my uh, YouTube channel. I appreciate that a lot.